Hey everybody, I'm Garrett and these are mobile game reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! Today, we have the most unbelievable clone of Minecraft. It is so great that fans of digging and crafting cannot come to an agreement on which of the games is tougher. Meet Terraria, now available on the Android platform. If anybody hasn't heard about the game yet, though I strongly doubt it, I'll sum it up. The aim of the game is not only to survive, but to create as well. At the same time, it's not enough to just get resources, you also need to craft. That is, you get something tougher by uniting certain simple resources, and there are hundreds of ways to craft. About the gameplay. If you haven't heard about Terraria before, I'm sure you've heard of Minecraft and you know what it is. Well, Terraria is the same thing, but in 2D. That is, it's kind of like a platform with nice pixel graphics. Actually, I like platform games with pixel graphics, even if you can't dig and build in them. The time is divided into day and night here. In the daytime, everything is nice and quiet, but at night, various kinds of monsters in the form of flying eyes and other cute things begin to emerge. So, the game tactics are obvious. You need to get resources in the daytime and hide in the cozy and bright little house at night. Or, take up arms and go fight at your own risk. Besides, unlike Minecraft, this game has an interesting feature. There is no multiplayer, but it has NPCs. When you build a house, or a whole village, all sorts of guys settle there. They walk around in the daytime and peacefully stay at home at night. And what concerns the game ported for Android? Nothing. It's a quality product which seems to be quite a full-fledged game. You control it with the use of two joysticks situated in the left and right corners of the screen. Everything is simple and comprehensible, and basically, it's as convenient to play as it is on the computer. Let's recap. Terraria is an excellent, beautiful game with almost complete freedom of action. You can change the look of the world, fight with monsters and even huge bosses, craft and build everything you want as far as your imagination can handle. I'm glad that you can play it on Android devices. In short, let's go play the game! That's all for today. If you liked the review, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, like it, and comment. This was Garrett and reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.